Hey guys, alrighty. How are you doing for the month decorating your journals and adding bling and sparkle, bubbles, confetti, all of your little different pieces that you've hopefully picked up and accumulated from your New Year's Eve celebrations, Christmas packages and that sort of thing. I hope, you, I hope you're doing well with that. So this is a little bonus uh, bit that we um, came up with pretty early on that we thought we would um, encourage you all to do. A part of this whole journey is going to be um, furthering ourselves, furthering our education, growing as human beings, and um, being aware of the world around us. Um, part of that whole scenario is getting real with ourselves. And um, I do mean in some instances a literal sense. <laughs> um, how many of you out there have a pile of art and or self-help or other books that you've bought because somebody recommended them and they're in a pile for you to get to someday? Probably a lot if you're like me. I have my own fairly large pile. And um, so we decided this year, 2017, we are going to read those books, finally. So every month, all four of us teachers and as many of you as want to participate are going to bring you book reviews. And we are going to read one or more of the books from our stash of things we thought we'd get to someday. Because why are we waiting for someday? Someday might never come. Let's do it now. Um, and that's true for whether you're talking about books or vacations or learning more about art or just having fun in life, whatever it is. Why are you putting it off to someday? All right. So that being said, the book I chose to read is one that I've been struggling with getting through, to be honest with you. I, it's very textbooky, and textbooky is not my thing. It really is really tough for me to get through. Um, that being said, a therapist I consulted with did recommend I read it. She thought it would be very helpful for me and my anxiety disorder, my issues with depression. I really didn't want to go the route of medication. For me, I don't think that that's a route that I want to take. There's nothing wrong with it, but I really wanted to figure out if there were other therapies, other techniques that I could do besides that. She said, you really want to look more into cognitive behavioral therapy. I really recommend this one particular book. So, okay. Um, the name of the book is, this is my Kindle. I do a lot of re reading on my Kindle. Feeling Good, The New Mood Therapy by David D. Burns, MD. Um, now, I really liked this book. Like I said to you just now, it was a little difficult to get through because it's very textbooky, especially at the end where they talk about a lot of the different uh, medication treatments, which are in here. He get, gives you all your possible um, options for treatment. Um, that medication part in the back, and when we talk, start talking about misfiring synapses in the brain and serotonin levels and <coughs> very textbooky. Holy cow. Um, but there were some parts of the book I found super, super helpful. Um, m most of the mood and behavior therapy um, lessons he puts you through and um, um, sort of conversations with himself, um, scenarios he runs through about how you can use the behavior changes he recommends in your everyday life to change your, help change your thinking. Um, I loved them. He did say there, there's a million, there's a million places in this book you could get helpful, not only um, tips from if you're having similar situations with anxiety or depression, um, but a million really great quotes from this book that you could take. Um, there is a test right in the beginning of the book that you can take that'll sort of give you, um, and I'm sure it's not super clinical or anything, but it'll give you a rough idea of um, where on a scale you are as far as, you know, how depressed or anxious you are. Um, I was in the mild end, thank God. <laughs> but, um, but you know, the, you know, if you have more issues um, um, than I do, you definitely want to, um, pay attention to that. And 
I want to say that there, this book, reading this book, is not a replacement for therapy. There's nothing wrong with therapy. If you need help, please go get it. Um, there's nothing wrong with consulting a therapist or seeing a psychologist, if that's what you need, or being on medication. Um, those choices are all very personal. You need to make them and work with what's going to work and be right for you. So please do that. Reading these books and books like books like this will help you hopefully oops, make a decision and figure out what that is. There we go. Now, there is a whole section in here about perfectionism. <laughs> and, you know, I thought, well, I'm not that much of a perfectionist. And then I read the chapter and went, oh, my God, I so am. And one of his quotes that I love and definitely pertains to this whole year-long journaling program. So I want you all to keep this in mind. And I'm going to put it in my journal for January. And it says, are you ready? You are guaranteed to be a sure loser if you maintain a standard for evaluating your performance you can't ever meet. Right? That definitely pertains to me. If you if you are not doing anything because you can't do it perfectly, then you're never going to accomplish anything in life. And that's true with either art or, any, or anything. And I'm always telling you guys, there's no right way, there's no wrong way, there's only your way. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and I'm always telling you guys that, and I evidently don't always listen to my own advice. So I need to take that going forward. I definitely think it's a good read. It's a little bit of a tough read because not only are you faced with your own issues while you're reading the book, you're realizing, wow, yeah, some of this really applies to me or some doesn't. Um, it's also very clinical at the end, especially when he gets talking about the medication. So um, it is a little bit of a tough read. I do recommend it though, if um, you or someone you love um, is having issues. I think it's a good um, starting point. It's not, like I said, a substitution for therapy and professional help. Please go get that if you need it. All right, that being said, let's take, and I'm gonna prop this up over here. I've got my quote, I wrote it down as I was reading. We're gonna open our journal. And you didn't think that was the end of it, did you? So as part of this book club, um, part of our program, I have created a series of five list doodles. One of them is blank at the top. One of them, of course, says book list. Um, and there's a couple of others, like there's a to-do list and that sort of thing. So I want to encourage you all to, whatever that thing is you've been putting off, maybe it's not Books, reading books and um, educating yourself about art or, or yourself or um, learning more about the world around you. Maybe it's something else. Maybe you have a goal list you've never accomplished or a travel list you've never accomplished. Use this. We're going to tape it into our um, journals each month and we're going to keep track of what we're doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've printed this to fit on the back of my tag that I drew for the start of the month, and I am going to tape it to the back of the tag. There we go. I'm gonna take my pen, and we're gonna put our book title down. I'm going to, let's see. Okay, and then I'm going to open this up a little bit and I want to start off my month with this quote because I love this quote. I think it's fabulous. Um, I think I want to put it here and I have an idea. Let me get a couple things. I have an idea of something I want to do so I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see if we can get this to work. I took a picture of the cover of the book and I want to put a picture of the book in my journal. So. Um, I'm going to use my, hopefully use my LG pocket photo printer, which is this right here. Um, it's about, it's a little bit, um, you know, bigger than my cell phone, but it's, it's easy to travel with, which is one of the things I like about it. So I turned it on. I've got to hook it up to Bluetooth to my iPad. There we go. It connected. And then we have to go open the app for the printer. I have had issues recently with um, the printer not wanting to find 
the photos in my camera roll. So I don't know what the issue is with that. Like right now, it doesn't want to. So we have to, I don't know, go find the photo. I'll be right back, hang on. For some on. reason it wanted to connect the photo on my phone to the printer and not the iPad, but you can connect this device to both my, I can connect it to both my phone and my iPad. So when I'm out of town, I always take the printer with me and depending on which device I have handy when I'm working on my journaling in the morning is the one I use to do the photos. So um, I am going to go in here and I'm going to click on the little wand. I think that's the one I want, yep. And I'm going to, I want to make the photo bigger so that I don't get this weird border around the edge. So I get mostly just the title that works. Let's make it a little smaller. Okay, so once I have it um, adjusted the way I want, then I just hit the little printer icon and it sends it to the printer and then I hit OK. And here we go. Okay. So it is going to start printing. Let's see, it's blinking. And in here I have paper that has um, sticky back. Oh, excuse, excuse me, holy cow. There we go. I was like, why do I not hear anything? It took it a minute. So I'm going to stick this in here, and around it I want to write this quote. I really love this quote. It really reminds you that, you know, you don't, why are you trying to be perfect? Just be yourself. Perfectionism is, or per, being perfect is overrated anyway. No one's perfect. We're human. So as the month goes by, if I get more books read, I'm going to add them into my list. And of course, I will add them to my book review list um, in the Facebook group. So if you're not a member of the Facebook group, you can go over there. You can get the link for the free doodles over there. You can get, um, a, you can look at my book review list and figure out all the different books I've been reading. And I will review my list um, as the week or month go along, now I've got to, so, oh, see, sorry, so it printed that, so now I just have to peel back the sticker paper, there we go, I'm going to stick this in right here, okay, I'm going to put his name at the bottom there. I'm also going to performance, the C&E in performance hit the washi tape, and that washi tape does not like anything. So we're going to use a pit pen here, which will, should write on top of it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Let's try a Sharpie, fine point, something. Here we go. Need another 
baby wipe. I'm going to zoom in just a second for you guys. I'm going to erase this here. Um, this wa B washi tape is very plasticky. I think it's by Scotch. Um, so I love it, but things don't want to write on top of it or glue on top of it or anything. Okay, that works. So as the uh, months go along, I will be adding to this and adding to my January page. There you go. And my January book list. I encourage you, if you have a pile of books that you're trying to get to, why are you waiting? Get to them now. Read them now. And if they're a really good book or not, let us know about it. Maybe it's something that we should look at and check in to. All right, that's it for today, you guys. Don't forget, there's no right way. There's no wrong way. There's only your way. So do it your way. Have fun with it. And go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.